everybody still plays the Dralimar OTK deck, but did you know that there's a much faster OTK out there that Magic can perform on turn four using the Spell Slinging School Teacher? I'm going to break down the deck list for you and show you some crazy games. So here's the deck list. Basically, the idea all revolves around this Spell Slinging School Teacher. What you need to do is play multiple copies of the Teacher and then a few other little one health creatures in order to finish off your opponent. If you play three school teachers and four other little creatures like card sharks or dead bodyguard, which summons another one one, so for one mana you get two one ones. If you have three school teachers on the board and play two card sharks, that is lethal. So the idea is to clone a school teacher and then play three school teachers, two card sharks on one turn. If you're thinking that's seven creatures, indeed you do need to play Mage Bolt, kill one of your card sharks, and then play the second card shark so that it has room to spawn the uh, bodyguard. Or your other option is to make two clones of both school teachers, play all four school teachers, and a single card shark. And that does 28 damage. And then you can finish them off with either something like Surpassing Blast or Ancient Text or Reject Dogma. Now, if you're thinking this deck looks like it's very expensive at point one, well, the price tag of admission here is really just based on clone. However, there is an alternative called Immaterialized in the new set. It's very cheap alternative to clone. It costs one more. However, you can use your Warp Engineers to reduce the cost of this down to one and then play it in the string of events where you play a school teacher, immaterialize, another school teacher, another school teacher, etc. So reducing the cost of this, you could even use a fox from the new set as well that also reduces three mana things down to zero. It's more of a fun deck. I'm still finalizing the list. I think this is getting closer to the final version, though there's definitely still some room for improvements. Especially in this version, I tried to keep out as many expensive cards as possible to keep it as cheap as possible. So there you have the gist of it. Let me show you it in action so you get a better idea of how it really works. Okay. Don't want any of these. Let's get rid of the card shark. Talisman's interesting against every other god, but not this one. Um... Is not great. Let's get rid of this and just keep everything that can draw cards and protect my face. Let's see how many ways you can disappoint me. At last, a worthy adversary. Okay, he's playing ramp. All right, cool, we got part of the combo. Do this. Hmm, that about does it. The possibilities are endless. I mean, we need to find the other school teacher. And then we pretty much need to find clones and then we win. So let's keep digging here. That's nice. Wow. Now we just need to find clones. So hopefully with Librarian's Prayer we can dig through a large portion of this deck here. Ram is nice as well so we can foresee and then draw a couple. There's a clone. Okay. Use the warp engineer now to reduce the school teacher. Patience is a virtue. But when we clone it, it'll be zero. We're ultimately saving two mana here. 
He's not playing an OTK deck, probably, so we probably don't need to worry about dying in like two turns. Doesn't reduce the mana of any spells. All right, this is huge. We can find the other clone. Or a one mana creature. There's a there's a clone. No one mana creatures. Okay. So four school teachers plus twelve. This looks promising. Mm. Draw cards here. We can also draw with cram. We really only need three school teachers if we can get. All right, cool. We just have the OTK next turn. Hmm. So we do three school teachers, Nimble Pixie, that's two mana, four mana with the God Power, five mana for the second card shark, and that's just GG's. As long as he doesn't safeguard incantation. <laughs> Okay. That's a GG's. <laughs> My hand is full. This is crazy. Absolutely wild. Jeez. All right, what are we doing here? Let's get rid of this. Get rid of this. Get rid of that. Let's see how many ways you can disappoint me. Draw cards. Good luck. Ah, against nature. Tough. Nature runs a lot of relic removal. And they also run a lot of big creatures. I'm just going to skip over that relic. Okay. The possibilities are endless. Go ahead and draw more cards. Patience is a virtue. A lot of warp engineers. Next turn we want a librarian's prayer and start setting stuff up. Okay, that's good for us. Uh, we also have the frenetic bibliomaniac here. Well, let's go ahead and librarian's prayer first. We can foresee and set up what we want. We definitely want that clone. That about does it. Don't need this, 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 this second clone. Love to see it. Next turn we can get ourselves a couple copies of the school teach. Possibilities are endless. Okay, so we want to clone. We can actually reduce this and then clone it twice. Then when we go to do the combo, this will just be free. Mm. 
go ahead and reduce the bibliomaniac as well. Now it's basically two one ones for one mana each. We need to sack these. So we'll have three school teachers for zero mana. We'll cost two to have two more creatures. And then we just need two more creatures for lethal. We can kill one of the creatures off with Mage Bolt and then play another two creatures. So we just need to find a Nimble Pixie or a Card Shark or a Dead Guard, whatever that new card is. Great. He's clearing my board for me. Makes me happy. Love to see it. Love to see that husband and wife are together again to witness the carnage that's about to take place. Let's go ahead and clone. Twice. So reject dogma does draw me a card and look for the last piece of the puzzle here, which is that we just need a 1-1. One, one. And his creatures, although he has a lot, they're all really weak. Maybe he plays like a wildfire here, but even still, he should have at least two turns here. Does wildfire indeed. I'm gonna pump these guys though. They're Amazons. It's only threatening 11 damage next turn. Another wildfire doesn't kill me, so... Hopefully we can just find the piece we need here, though. Guess we're just gonna play Trial Begins and find the other school teach. Alright, or Librarian's Prayer. Do the prayer because we just really want to find a 1-1 one, one that summons a copy like this. Here we go. The next turn we just have lethal as long as we survive. We've got protected, we've got ward, and we've got the combo all lined up. It will be fairly cheap too because these all cost zero. Play this, do that, that's three mana. Four, five mana. So we can actually use the bag here. Go ahead and Surpassing Blast just to kill something. Take a little bit of damage less. Raise our chance of survival here. It's looking pretty good. Oh man, he's got the uh, Lethal Prowler. A nasty card that you don't see played very often. Swing with the Relic too. Bring me down to five mana, it was pretty close. This looks promising. And that's gonna do it. An all shadow lethal. GG.
Jeez. Okay, he's playing control, which probably is worse than Head and Rush because he can steal some stuff, but let's get rid of ancient text. Pokemon. We don't need two warp engineers. Let's see how many ways you can disappoint me. Best of luck. We'll just pass turn one. Okay, he passes right back. Go looking for stuff. And set up next turn as well. Options. So... We want to draw this with Dimension Door. We're going to need this for the combo. So let's get rid of this, this, this. And now next turn we lead off with Dimension Door. Give me the teacher for zero. Now we just need to find some clones. We already have one. We just need to find the other clone. Um, go ahead and clone it in case he does have cutthroat and tries to steal a copy. We need to at least have one. If we top deck a clone, we just have lethal in two turns. Looks promising. Hmm. Okay, so let's play trial. Get the other school teacher. So now, if we top deck a clone. If we hit him in the face with this, it's just lethal. Hmm. And now, we've got a decent chance. We've shuffled a lot of cards to the bottom that weren't clone. My turn. Wow. Heart of the cards, baby. Let's go. And that is just lethal. GG's. Wow. Are we playing against the Nubians? Hmm. We'll keep the trial begins. Get rid of cram. Keep digging here. Hope that we can find a school teacher or a clone. Let's see how many ways you can disappoint me. Right. Best of luck. Not super great. But not the worst. That's not good. Oh, don't mind that at all. Really don't mind that. Uh, okay. I think we actually want the warp engineer more than Let's we want the teacher. Now. now we can reduce the teacher. Loan the teacher. Have two zero cost teachers. And then we just need to find the other teacher or the clone. This looks promising. Let's 
I'm gonna wait one more turn for Dimension Door. So we're gonna play Reject Dogma this turn, so let's play it first. And now let's reduce the teach. Patience is a virtue. Perfect. Um, all right, we have a lot of ways we can draw, foresee, foresee, reduce. This foresee is two, so if the cards we need are on top, we could then Dimension Door. Rarian's Prayer is actually really nice. Let's keep it. Let's clone now. If we dimension door, we might end up drawing something that costs zero. And then we can't clone. He's probably got an OTK himself at about three turns. Or maybe we have four turns at best. Love Librarian's Bear next turn. And Dimension Door. Looks promising. Okay, we needed that as well. So now we just need a clone and then we win. So let's do this. We have no clone. We have another Librarian's Prayer. Let's just do that. Clone or the spell teacher is all we need. This actually can foresee, so let's get cycled quicker. We don't need that. Mention door. Okay. Very pretty. But we have a couple outs here, and we only have 16 cards. We've cycled a lot. Got a good feeling about this. Nope. Okay. Well, we still have Dimension Door and Librarian's Prayer, so let's Librarian's Prayer. And this should just find us what we need. Clone. And the school teacher. So let's just go ahead and keep the clone. Well, maybe, well, we can clone this turn and then if it hits the wrong thing, that's fine. Because we'll draw the teacher next turn anyway, so it doesn't actually matter. Yeah, that was a little annoying. As long as he doesn't force me to overdraw. All no zero cost. Death. Soon you will the next turn we just need one mana for the school teach. Two mana for this, and that's an OTK. So for three mana, we win the game. So long as he doesn't find a way to kill me this turn. Which I sincerely doubt he can do. Here we go. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs>